Okay guys, we're going into February for my Erin Conjuring Planner for 2014. I've already showed all of my January pages and I will link that video below, but this is going to be a continuation. This was the first of February. And as you can see, when that happens, well, I have a week that starts here in January with this color theme, and then it switches over to a different color theme somewhere in this part of the week. I just stick with my color scheme that I started with. I don't like to mix them on the page, even though there was a new month that started. I just notified that with a little red heart on the top so that I knew that it changed to a different month. So we're going to start with February. This was my first week of February and it was absolutely a crazy, crazy week. Um, I spent a lot of time going to the vet. As you can see, the little paw prints. I have a kitty cat that is sick. It was my husband's birthday that week, so it was really, really crazy, and that's why I used the Happy Birthday washi and this really fun, different design washi here. Now, here, I really like how this came out for this month, and that is my cat feeding schedule, her insulin shots, my steps, and my to-do list. I really like how that came out for this week, and I love the little plate stickers down at the bottom. Those are from It's Planning Time, and I showed those in my last video. Totally love them. I try to use them every month. I'm kind of running low, so I'm a little panicked. I'm going to have to place an order, <laughs> but I will link that below. Another one of my favorite stickers lately is this here with all the photos. I do a lot of my photos in Dropbox. I keep a lot of my photos in Dropbox because as you guys know, I do Project Life as well. So documenting photos and keeping them in order is really, really important. And I love to notify when I clean my Dropbox and when I clean my photo files with this sticker. It is absolutely adorable. I love it. And that is another thing. I have totally loved doing this planner and decorating my planner. And it really helps me with my project life because when I do my project life spreads, it's very easy for me to go back in my planner or remember when I did certain things. Before I did my planner or before I had this planner, which was the beginning of January, I was losing a lot of track of when things were happening and I was kind of guessing on some dates and now I don't have to do that anymore. So that's really cool. Just for project life alone, it's been worth doing this planner. So this was the second through the eighth. And like I said, my husband's birthday week. So I did a lot of, you know, primary colors for the whole birthday theme. Okay. The next week was ninth through the 15th and I definitely started with the Valentine's Day theme because this was Valentine's Day week and I totally love how this came out and one of my favorite stickers on this spread here is this little road sticker here and that is by planning made easy really 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 cute i love that um we do a lot of driving in this house because we live in a really small town so the two closest towns are about a half an hour away and you will notice a lot of the road washi tape i do that throughout my planner because every time we leave town i like to mark the days that we go out of town. It helps me keep track of when we did things and when we had to drive to different locations. So you will see a lot of road washi and car stickers throughout my layouts at all times. I just like to keep track of it. Okay, here I fooled myself again, <laughs> tried to make myself believe that I was gonna do my steps and that didn't happen. This column here is always going to remain the same for now. I really love doing this. And look, I have no check marks here. That is totally horrible. So I'm going to sit here and check these off because I know I fed my cat that week. She'd be really miserable if she didn't have her food and her insulin shots. So I'm going to check those off 
because they were not checked off. And then down here are steps I don't have for Friday and Saturday because I did not wear it and I believe the battery was dead. And that was what was going on for this week. I really, really love the colors. This XOXO washi tape is from um, Sparkly Canadian Crafty Girl, Ashley. She sent that to me in my rack. If you watch my rack video of the items that she sent me, I was able to preserve that off of the package thing that she sent me. And I really, really love it. So that is everything on this page. A lot of fun stuff. And probably the cutest thing is this little, uh, I guess it's love potion and I put it on for when I had my oil changed in my truck. I was like, oh, it looks like a little bottle of oil. I thought that was cute. And here for my renovations, I used a little hammer and those are from Plantastic Planning as well. Those little hammers and screwdrivers that you've seen in my January spreads have really been saving my life. It really helps me keep track of everything that's going on with my renovations, so I'm happy with that. Okay, let's go on to the next page. This is the 16th through the 22nd. I love how this came out as well. Even though Valentine's Day was over, I still stayed with the pink and red theme, and I love to mix blue or teal in with that. So this is everything that happened for this week. And again, here is that road washing when we left town. And I got to use a Lily Henry sticker finally. Yay! I finally got them in the mail and I used this pink one that says YouTube. And I really, really, really love that. That's probably one of my favorite stickers on the page. Again, my basic column of feeding steps and insulin shots. And I love this little kitty. Check out this little kitty. It's so adorable. That is from Weft and Olive 2. Really love that sticker. So we're going to move on to the next pages. Okay, the next pages are going to be the 23rd to the 28th. And I love how this came out. I went with a pink and green theme. Now down here, you guys can see that I stopped doing my hydration um, stamping. And I explained that in my last video. I have been doing really awesome with my water. So I just don't feel like I need to track it anymore. But I do need to track my steps because I'm on wanting to do 10,000 a day. And as you can see, I'm not hitting that 10. I'm getting close on some days, but also remember a lot of these days, as much as there's a million things on my planner, a lot of times I'm home for a lot of this, but I have a two level home and I am constantly going upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, downstairs. I get a ton of steps just in my house. I don't have to leave for that. Again, just some of the key things on this layout is my little screwdrivers again for all of my renovation stuff. I finally found these little stickers, uh, letter stickers at Target. I love them. They are so cute. I live about two hours from the nearest Target. So when I go with my husband, I pray that I can find stuff. I usually don't. I never find the flags or anything like that. So that's not happening. I thought this little pizza was super cute. I finally got to use my pizza because we don't eat a lot of pizza, but I thought it was it's really, really cute. So that's everything that I did on that spread. And then here, my Scribble Prints Co. weekend banner. I really love them. I am pretty much out of them, so I will have to order them again. And for the second half of the week, I used It's Planning Time uh, food stickers again. I love them. Another new sticker that I recently just got is this wine sticker from Oh Hello Stationery, which is like Super definitely one of my new favorite places uh, to order from. Really super cute. We don't have wine too often in this house. Usually when we have Italian food, well, I'm Italian, so we do have a lot of Italian food. We don't have wine a lot, so I do like to track it because it's just cute. And these here are for Animal Crossing, which is a game on the Nintendo DS. I created that sticker myself. I get a lot of questions about it. 
totally, totally love it. And that's it, guys. The next part is March, and that will be a new video. Again, if there are any stickers or questions that you want to know about, just leave them below in the comments. And I love to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.